So we primarily work in wearable robotics. Uh, the research that we have spans a lot of different application areas, but we are very focused generally on mobility and community ambulation, and specifically using kind of assistive devices to help people be able to ambulate and get around more easily in their lives. So for a lot of us, mobility is something we're able to take for granted. Um, but when you think about how humans go about their day, mobility is really a key feature, right? Of course, one of the hopes is that this work can obviously translate to people with mobility impairments um, to, to hopefully lift their quality of life. One of the basic types of devices, like what you see in front of you, is it's called an exoskeleton. So these are wearable devices that go around your existing limbs and will help you walk. And so these can be at any joint or at multiple joints. We also work in a different class of devices that is for limb replacement. So these are usually called robotic prostheses and will replace joints missing on an amputee. And so what's so neat about this space is essentially we tried to develop uh, an environment that's very similar to what you might experience in daily life with stair heights of varying, uh, varying heights or, or ramps of varying inclines but we put it in a space where we can collect all of the data we need to compute the ground truth labels of what the actual human's uh, biological joints are doing. My prosthetic device that I wear, it, it changes, the gait changes as I walk. So when I go from a slow speed to a fast speed, but I'm doing all the work. This assists you so you don't have to work as hard and you don't have to expend as much energy. Just to reserve that, um, that energy for your day-to-day -day activities will allow other amputees to be more active during the day and do more. The impact is really focused on function. Can we increase people's function in their daily lives? And then we, we also think about impact from two other things. Energy, so can we make it easier for someone to get around doing the same thing? The other is in stability, and the idea is that these devices should help provide more safety and stabilization when they become unstable. So for example, if you trip on something, hopefully your device is helping you get back to a, a nominally safe and stable game.